Good morning, everybody. It's Mark from Dunedin Mott Leisure Kingdom. Thank you for joining me today here at the showground at Dunedin Mott Leisure in Hilton. So this morning we have for you a twin axle caravan, four bed, and it's a four berth, and it's absolutely fantastic. So it's a Swift Sprite Super Quattro EB. So twin axle, really, really big caravan, lots and lots of storage from 2020, and you can see it has been serviced 22 and 23. Um, in the front here we have space, lots of storage and where you can have one bottle, a gas bottle in use and one spare at the side. Running around to the side of the vehicle here, you've got a boiler vent from Truma so it's a blown air heating system. That one is your water infill and in here is where you would keep your leisure battery and your electric hook up. A little bit further along you've got fridge vents, really nice alloy wheels. The, this caravan does not come with a motor mover so there is not one installed. This one is where your toilet cassette would fit and that is your flush filler. A little bit further to the back, the layout of this caravan is absolutely fantastic and it has an end bedroom with a transverse island bed. So it's, I can't wait to show you the inside, it's amazing. Um, that is a storage locker that goes underneath the bed. On the rear you've got um, housing for a bike rack if you wanted to attach that as well. And then you've got these nice size windows into the bedroom that give it lots and lots of light when you are on the inside. Um, when we open the habitation door, fasten that back and you've got this nice big fly screen that runs the width and the full height of the door as well. And uh, in we go. So down at the front of the van, you can see at the very, very front there, you've got USBs and 240 power sockets and you've got ventilation underneath the sofas for the blown air heating system. Control panels are over the door. So the DAB radio is actually built into the control panel on Swift. And you know that because you've got your DAB radio interface yeah. mounted in the cupboard just there. The small control panel is for your heating and hot water and this main one does anything to do with power, 12 volt, turning your water pump on and off. Lots and lots of storage all the way around the top of the van and then you've got these really big nice skylights all the way around and all of the windows and skylights have blackout blinds and fly nets. In the kitchen area you've got a three-way fridge freezer so it runs off gas 12 volt or when you're traveling or 240 when you're on site. Microwave, great size sink, and you've also got the separate grill, separate oven and three ring gas hob. And in the corner there, you can see that's mount, uh, the TV point is just there so you can have a freestanding television on top of that worktop. Now going into the bathroom, it's absolutely massive. So you've got this separate shower cubicle off to one side. And then on the opposite side, we've got the toilet, which will rotate. So you've got a much more comfortable position. And then here, we've got this big, storage cupboard and you've also got ventilation in here from the heating system as well so it's a heated living room and a heated toilet and shower area tv signal booster just here for your aerial and your television aerial is just here on your extendable pole as well so you can lift it up and down as much as you want to plus you've got a hanging rail for your sunday best um, really really nice size vanity mirror then you've got this great size sink with a little bit of storage underneath it and then this door here opens and closes into the bedroom so you can make it nice and private for a family of four looking for a decent sized van, what this does is it gives you a lot of privacy. So you're never having to walk past somebody in the night time to get into the loo. So it's not like it's a four berth with an end bathroom. It's very, very private and there's so much space. Um, in the back, so we've got this bedroom, transverse island bed. I can walk all the way around it. Lots and lots of cupboard space over the top. And then you've got his and hers little wardrobes at the bottom as well with power on both sides. And then in the corner here, You've got a television bracket just on the rear wall, TV point up in the top corner with 12 volt and 240 power. Little opening mirror there for all your uh, remote controls and bits and bobs so you don't lose anything. And then you've got the corner cupboard here. Um, the bed as well, because obviously you've got the external access. If you open that up, you've got uh, ventilation for your heating system. The space filler cushions are for when you turn the lounge into a double bed. Yeah. And you've got the spare wheel in there as well and room for lots of storage. Um, you can leave the bed at the back made up while you are traveling. That's perfectly safe, but all your other items will need to be further down the front of the van. But a lightweight bedding in the back is perfectly safe. Um, again, you've got these nice blackout blinds and fly nets in the bedroom as well. So they're on all of the windows and skylights. And it's a brilliant size van. Mm -hmm. It's really, really beautiful from 2020. And it's been so well looked after by the previous owner. Um, this door just slides over and it can be locked into position while you're traveling as well. So it won't rattle around and won't get damaged. Same with your shower door, um, it can be held back into position, but it's a great size shower tray in there as well. 
um, nice LED lights all the way through the van front to back on top of all your units and worktops as well um, and it's absolutely fantastic um, it does weigh in it's got a maximum total weight of just over 1700 kilos so you will know could need quite a substantial vehicle to be able to pull this and with a twin axle experience is always uh, a good thing if you have towed before um, but they're nice and easy to move around um, it's really really good condition it's been beautifully looked after and it's available to view here on site at Donnay Mott Leisure Kingdom if you'd like any additional information or if you want to know anything more about how anything works please feel, feel free to come on site ask for me my name is Mark and uh, I will take great pleasure in showing you around this amazing caravan thanks for your time see you soon